Hey there various, welcome to my first game of placements in the second split of 2023. I actually had to think about that, I nearly said 2013. Man, I can't believe it's already 2023, but it's 2023! Second split, uh, ended the last split, if you watched the uh, last few games in the YouTube video series. We ended one game away, ending at Masters. We did hit Masters in uh, the previous split, but a combination of ELO Decay plus Honestly, not an overwhelming um, wanting to play that much League, honestly. Uh, so yeah, we un unfortunately weren't able to hit Masters. To end this bit of Masters, at least anyway. But um, yeah, this is the first game with the placements. Not sure where we're going to be placed in, ending in Diamond 1 last season. I don't know what the Keen wants to do in terms of pathing here. Uh, we're going to be playing Zyra here. Zyra got changed this patch. A uh, little, little bit of quality of life stuff. You can now flash while eating. And uh, when you put up your first point in W, you have two seats, I believe. Can't remember if anything else really got changed, but uh, that was like the main one. So, Let's see if we can get some early seed stuff going. We are up against a Twitch and an Oriana support. I'm not really sure about that, but we'll see how that goes. My auto attack range is quite similar to Oriana's, so I'm able to trade back. Gonna hit level two here eventually. Mm, but missed. Also, this Jin is playing really, 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 really far back. So I've got to be careful here. I don't know what the ELO of these players are in this game. I don't have like a third party application. So these guys could have been like gold last split or whatever. But the Jin was playing super far back after getting level 2 advantage. So I don't think he was particularly high in diamond at least anyway. If you go... Okay. Um, they got cleanse on Twitch, but they don't have like any heals. It's exhaust on Oriana is ready. Yeah, I would like the Jin to push up higher with his resources. Okay, we've got two point two seeds here ready for this next fight, but it's kind of awkward. It's very difficult to help Kane here. Okay. Have they rolled out Emerald League yet? Yes, they have got Emerald League. I haven't seen it yet. I mean, I mean, I've seen it in Wild Rift when I played Wild Rift, but. Kane is looking to be pretty aggro into their side of the jungle. Wait, this Twitch. It's a shame I didn't connect the E. There's only. The e. I don't know why that. Kane's pinging. He's in their jungle for the entirety of the time. We can't, like, babysit like that much. Jin missed his W on a rooted target. Seems like it's going to be a quite weird game. <laughs> like, Kane's initial movement there was fine, like, but then he overstayed. And then overstayed a bit more. And then a little bit more. I'm a bit disappointed that we haven't got more down here though. In terms of like getting the Oriana flash off. We're not feeling like we're utilizing our poke quite as much. A, eh? let's uh. <laughs> it 
It's, yeah, I don't know. It's really frustrating because it's like, like, I know I'm harping on about it a lot, but it's like I'm getting the CC overlap on these guys, but Jin is like five flash distances away and he's not being aggressive at all. He's been ri ridiculously passive. He doesn't play up. Like he needs to be used. His health is a resource that he needs to be using to help trade in lane two. Well, I can really just do Hero's Farm, Spell Thief stacks, and Manifold Band stacks. This needs pushing in. Okay, the Orion is completely out of mana. Yeah, I mean like the Orion is completely out of mana and we've got like summoners and stuff that we can use here. I don't know why we're letting them... Yeah, I don't know. I'm just getting toyed for like... Because I know we can kill them. Like, they're getting away, honestly, with... Just because of how passive the Jin's is and Dyna's not being around. So yeah. I'll try not to fixate on it too much, but it's like, it's just the, the most glaring thing that's going on down here in this bot lane. And this guy's not helping either with him constantly overextending into their bot side jungle like this. Are they actually at our red buff there? I'm gonna have to start doing mute all, I think. Warden to this try brush. Twitch is six. So is Jin. Yeah, like I push forward and then the Jin doesn't move, so I, I can't I can't play aggressively down here. Especially at this stage of the game when Orianna could hit six at like almost any time. I'm literally making myself into like a 1v2 situation, so I'm just gonna have to play passive and play back. I hate it, but that's just the gameplay we're gonna have to do. Or actually maybe we can get something here. Okay, it's an Orianna flash again. Jin has ulti. Maybe when I get my ulti again, like we can do some overlap or something. If we can just queue that backline. I would have loved for him to queue the cast minions there because he could have got like a fourth bounce on the Twitch or something. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just sitting here moaning and I don't like it, but it's like, you know, at this stage when there's not a lot going on in the 2v2 situations, it's the little things that matter, it's the little things that separate. Uh, the good players from the great players and yeah we, we're not able to I'm not a, a, able to play the full potential I, I can because Jin's not playing the full potential as well so I'm kind of like 
the main thing is I just got to try not to get frustrated and then do something stupid in a 1v2 situation because at this point I'm the one who's more likely to throw this lane now because of trying to do stuff without the Jin. Even though I see spots where there's definitely instances where we can go in if that makes sense. So we're just going to have to play a bit <laughs> like lower ELO to try and fit in with the playstyle of this Jin. Jin's recalling again. I don't like that. Which means we now have to try and find something to do. No, that's kind of unlucky we didn't get to use that against him. Okay. Actually, you rooted the Oriana there. What? Why would she ult? Okay. Got the root, knock up. Oh, I'm taking plants away from the cane, my bad. Didn't actually pay attention to his HP. Lucky he managed to get one of his uh, berries, otherwise he would have died. Was it Oriol? I think she maybe thought I died and I was going to sweep in quicker. I'm not really sure what that was. Maybe she was just doing it for poke. Yeah, Jin, Jin just like, he, he's acting, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know, I keep saying the same thing over and over again, but I have literally nothing else to talk about. He's like, I go in and then he's just behind me, like miles behind me. So even if I land a root, by the time he even gets to auto attack range, which he won't auto attack them by the way, uh, like they would have been out of the route already. Diana. I don't understand the point. Yeah, she doesn't have a herald to use, so I'm not sure why she's zooming down the lane like that. Jin's got wards, he needs to use them. Okay, they don't actually have that brush warded. Yeah, I don't know. I think we could have probably got more plates and stuff this game, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Mid's doing okay, 3-1. Top's doing okay, but it is an inting sign, so... Kane is fighting at Dragon when the bot lane records. He, he doesn't know about, like, map pressure. I might end up going down here. Oh. Careful, Diana's gonna... Okay. Diana's just Twitch getting impatient then. Jin 
Jin doesn't have any summoners left. <coughs> it's not much for me to do bot side, so we go into the river. doing Harold up top side right now. I could go up there and help, but I don't trust the cane at all, so I'm just gonna try and focus on this bot lane situation here. Got okay vision on the bot side of the river for Vladimir in case like I don't know Twitch looks to roam up or something like that. Hey warm hugs, you're currently in the hospital. Well hopefully everything gets sorted. Hope you uh, feel better soon. Yeah, this is the right time to rotate to mid. Not sure where Twitch is. Jax is doing a good job using his power now to roam on the map. Triple kill for Jax. Nice little ward that to see where like mid lane might rotate to or where the jungler is in that part of the map. We just want to go down mid now. Also, the lanes are really, really strong, so they're, just, they're the ones that are just going to try and carry this game. In terms of like me and just me in general, I'm just going to be here warding, going to be playing a utility role. In terms of damage, we're not really going to be that high in the damage because we didn't get any kills in lane, nor did we get that many plates at all. So we'll just have to be smart. Okay. The set should probably die. Okay. Yeah, enemy team is starting to fall apart pretty quickly now. This inting sign in the top lane hasn't worked out at all. I'm dead. I've got a no flash to get out of this. Jin should be able to get away. Hmm. Yeah, there's no really counter play to that, to die in the flashing and straight on top of me like that. Unless I have something like a Zonia's, which I'm not going to have at this stage of the game. I kind of just want to, I mean, the Jax might not like it, but I kind of just want to hang out with the Jax. I feel like any lane that he goes in, we're just going to be able to roll over it. There's another dragon up bot side, it'd be the enemy team's third drake. Fighting over the dragon down there. I'm just gonna help this Jax. We stole it. Okay, cool. Enemy team surrendered. Okay. That 
That game is just literally restraining myself from doing anything stupid, so that uh, I wouldn't die in bot lane. That was a very that was, that was that was a stress test, honestly. I know it. I don't know. Like, hopefully, my explanations on the bot lane and, and the frustrations there kind of show why I got, like why I got frustrated. Um, but the most important thing is that if your AD carry is extremely passive and or like kind of seemingly below where they should be you can't like go and just do stuff like 1v2 because uh, then you're just going to make the situation even worse so we just have to make sure that pop the Oriana flashes when we could um, peel away from ganks as best as we could and yeah but hey look we're starting the split at Emerald 1 Pretty cool. Don't imagine hopefully we'll be in Emerald for too long. But it's kind of cool to see a new uh, ranking leak. But yeah, we won't be in it for too long. I think what they wanted to do is they wanted to get more diamond people into like the Emerald bracket. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this Emerald bracket plays, up, uh, plays out. So if you don't know, Emerald is like in between like Platinum and Diamond. So... Yeah, emeralds before diamond. So, yeah, in terms of damage, like look at the gin's damage, man. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> I'm bashing this gin all, all day, but three k damage. Uh, that's with him having three kills and two assists. So he's literally just last hitting people there at that point. Um, he's playing a poking AD carry in lane two. So, yeah, and even I'm not happy with my six point nine k. Nice. Uh, damage in lane either because it would get higher if the gin works with me more. So I hope you that that can, that number there kind of shows my frustration. Like even a Twitch did double the damage than Jin, and he was he had to kind of like play up front by himself, kind of solo. So yeah, don't recommend the Oriana support pick either. I don't think that added anything to the game either. So yeah, GG.